How is carbon monoxide formed? Have you ever wondered how a colorless and odorless gas can be produced from everyday activities? Carbon monoxide, known by its chemical formula Co, is formed in several ways, primarily through the incomplete combustion of carbon-containing fuels. This means that when materials like natural gas, gasoline, or would burn without enough oxygen, carbon monoxide is created instead of the more common carbon dioxide. One common scenario where this occurs is in an internal combustion engine. If the engine operates in a closed space, it may not get enough oxygen, leading to the production of carbon monoxide. Similarly, using a stove without proper ventilation can also result in this gas forming in your home. In addition to these everyday situations, carbon monoxide is produced industrially. One method is called the Boudouard reaction, where carbon dioxide reacts with hot carbon to generate carbon monoxide. Another industrial process involves reacting steam with carbon, resulting in a mixture known as synthesis gas, which contains both hydrogen and carbon monoxide. Chemical reactions involving organic compounds can also lead to the formation of carbon monoxide. For example, when formic acid is dehydrated by sulfuric acid, carbon monoxide and water are produced. Understanding how carbon monoxide is formed is important in the context of chemical nomenclature and inorganic compounds. This knowledge helps students and professionals grasp its role in various chemical reactions and processes. Carbon monoxide is not just a byproduct. It is used in the production of chemicals and as an intermediate in synthesizing other compounds. It also plays a role in metal production by reducing metal oxides with carbon. However, while carbon monoxide has its uses, it is also a hazardous gas. It binds to hemoglobin in the blood, which reduces the delivery of oxygen to vital organs and tissues. This can lead to health issues like headaches, dizziness, and in severe cases, it can be fatal. Therefore, managing carbon monoxide emissions and ensuring proper ventilation in spaces where it may be produced is essential for safety. In chemistry education, learning about the formation of carbon monoxide emphasizes the importance of proper combustion conditions and ventilation. This knowledge is vital for maintaining safety in both industrial and domestic settings, helping to prevent accidents related to carbon monoxide poisoning.